This is a speed brief, so I'll make it speedy. Um, so, okay, this speed brief is going to tell you, I hope, something about the friends of Brecon Beacons. That's the organization that I'm with and working with on the Tram Roads project. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of the Tram Roads in the confines of the Beacons. Um, I'm going to tell you about the project background and then a little bit about what we hope to achieve. Okay, so hands up, who's a member of the Friends of the Brecon Beacons? Wow! Fantastic, good. Now all of those that aren't members, you wish you were. Okay. And I guess we're m most widely known as a walking group, a little bit like the, um, the Ramblers, um, but dedicated to the, um, the beacon. Beacons. But we're not, we're more than that. We are a charitable organization, um, but we also get involved in discrete projects. And this one in particular is, of course, related to the, to the heritage of um, the park. Okay, our main purpose is to advance the enhancement, protection, and conservation of the countryside and other amenities of the Beacons National Park. If we do have a strategy plan, uh, covering our future activities, and it's very much aligned with the Brecon Beacons Park Association's um, plan. That's our new strap line. Protect, enhance, and enjoy. Okay, hands up who knows anything about the Brecon Beacons tram roads? Well, I'll go I'll finish that. Okay, well, you'll all know that the, the tram roads uh, were really a consequence of wanting to get raw materials from um, the source of production, be it the ironworks um, or the quarries, um, to the canal. And as you see the canal, this fabulous drawing um, that was produced by uh, David Blackmore. Um, and here is, oops. I was looking for the laser pen, but uh, that, uh, really? Oh, there. So there's Brecon, Abergavenny, and of course you'll you'll be aware of this because of course the tram roads are currently fantastic walking routes, and um, you see the Clangattock here, which ties into Bailey's Tram Road, um, Gilburn Wharf, and Foist Wharf. We're going to see some of the wharfs in a minute. But of course, they were built um, on the back of the Industrial Revolution um, and the building of the Brecon and Abergavenny Canal. absolutely key to iron production. And I don't know whether any of you know, um, but because of a fabulous um, innovation in iron making, um, brought about by the work of Abraham Darby, who was responsible for the steel that went into Ironbridge, um, our part of Wales became the largest iron producer in the UK at the time. Of course, um, the tram roads were also used to transport raw materials for them from the quarries to the wharfs, where invariably were um, lime kilns. Um, more of that in a few seconds. Oh, and you'll also know that the tram roads were built on the back of the Eight Mile Act, which was a subclause in the Canal Act, which allowed um, interested parties, ironwork masters, quarry masters, to build um, tramways from their location to, um, to the canal. 
There it is. The Talibont Wharf, served by the Brinor Tram Road. A little bit more about the Brinor Tram Road in a second. That's very important to us on the project at the moment. There's the Klangatok Wharf, and you can see um, the tram road here tunneling its way um, back and forth to the lime kilns. Aren't these, aren't these pieces of art fantastic? This is David Blackmore. Brilliant. Clitikine Works. And of course, that's uh, by Bailey's Tram Road. Fantastic walk, if ever you want to do it. Oh, five minutes, sorry. I haven't got long. Um, but that also includes a fantastic incline, which is a feature of certain of the tram roads. Very important feature, where the material had to get down um, quite a steep incline. I'm going to just ramble through these. That's, of course, close to home here, um, the Watton Wharf um, today. This is the arch that took the tram road to Hay, and there's the canal arch. And apparently, in this arch, the uh, tramway arch, used to be a target practice for an archer that lived in the house. Um, I was told that by some members of the Historic Society. Uh, here. So, something you need to know about the tramways, they weren't like railways, the, uh, the wheels ran on the lower plate of an L section of, um, of, tr of um, plateway. Um, not much of the plateway left, there are some people who have artefacts in their gardens which uh, still remain, but there's not much of it left. So, the Tramroads project, through a collaborative approach involving several organisations, um, we hope to identify former tramroads with a view to safeguarding their heritage and sustaining their roles as routes for walking. And our partners are Banabrikaniog National Park Authority, uh, Fluid Powers Archaeological Trust, CPAT, and the Welsh Government's Historic Environment Services, CADU. Um, a lot of work has been done, mainly by, by Richard Chandler over here, um, on the paperwork exercise of mapping as many of the tram roads, or remnants of the tram roads as we can, within the bounds of the National Park. Um, one of our key aims is to um, preserve them. None of them are scheduled at the moment. There's no um, scheduling um, activities taking place. The long sections of the tram roads aren't, sec aren't scheduled. Certain key artifacts aren't scheduled. Um, we also want to enhance a monitoring activity that's already been started by the National Parks Authority. And where appropriate, we will participate in any maintenance that's required of culverts and, and so on. Um, we've been pioneering the use of an app with the Parks Authority um, for the purpose of capturing information um, which will subsequently be used as part of our evidence for scheduling. And some of the key artefacts. No doubt those people who are walkers have seen along the, the paths of, of tram roads um, evidence of the tram roads. These are the stone sleepers that were used to uh, to mount the um, the rails. This is an old a kiln actually on the Brynod tram road and this is a little bit of graffiti by W. Lloyd in 1894. That's in fact along the, the path of the Brynod um, tram road. So monitoring and maintenance when tram roads are uh, accurately surveyed we can proceed on monitoring and maintenance um, in particular, this will involve working with parties, um, the park rangers, volunteers who have, um, uh, will be covered by the Brecon Beacons National Park Authority Volunteering Framework. 